Baby Nuha was conceived in the wet season, which in this part of the Gambia runs from July to November. Different foods grow in the wet and the dry season, and it seems that what a mother eats around conception can dramatically alter the lifespan of her baby. At this time of year, there are plenty of calories around in the form of grains like couscous and rice, and these form the staple of their diet. During the rainy months, you also get a lot more green vegetables. And it turns out that the amount of green veg you eat during that critical period around the time of conception can have a significant impact on the rest of your life. And we know this extraordinary fact because of a study which has been running in this part of Gambia for nearly 70 years. Babies here have been monitored all the way through childhood and into old age. And it's thrown up some startling findings. Initially, there appears to be no difference between children conceived in the wet and the dry seasons. But that changes from the age of 15. Shockingly, children conceived in the dry months are up to seven times more likely to die as young adults than those conceived just a few months later. Thank you very much. Wet season begins in July. So how can a mother's diet, so close to conception, have such a huge lifelong impact? Well, during the first few days of life, the genes inside your cells are getting ready to send out instructions. Orders to build new tissue in your rapidly growing body. It's a critical moment because these instructions aren't set in stone. We're familiar with the idea that genes are something you inherit from your parents, a bit like a family heirloom, and they sit there unchanging and permanent. But this may not be entirely true. In fact, we now know early in life some genes are switched on, while others are switched off. At this vital time, if a mother eats a diet rich in leafy green vegetables, it provides a cocktail of chemicals which bind to strands of DNA and changes forever how some of our genes work. And this, in turn, can permanently affect how parts of our body are built 